is going to be a Dollar Tree haul. And um, I did find a few things that are Easter related. My Dollar Trees are just now starting to get out their Easter decor. And um, I did find a few things that were on my wish list. So um, I'm going to go ahead and get started. So the first thing that I got is um, what I usually get when I get ready to make a wreath is a wire wreath form. And this is just the 14 inch wire wreath form. And it works really well, just as good as Hobby Lobby or Michaels or even Walmart. Um, the next things that I found are these really cute um, it's ribbon. It's the Easter ribbon. There's three yards, two and a half inches wide, and it is wired. And this is sort of a, the camera looks blue, but it's sort of a, I don't know, it's like a teal, teal blue or teal green or a turquoise color. But um, I think it's really pretty, so I grabbed two of those. The next two that I found, this is a burlap style. And it's got, uh, it says Happy Easter on there. And it's got little Easter bunnies stamped all over it and Easter eggs. I think it was really cute. So I grabbed two of those. The other two ribbon that I found are this gingham or um, just a plaid pattern with the pastel colors, the blue and the pink and yellow. Um, I grabbed two of those. And then the last two ribbon, which I think are the cutest things ever, um, but it is so cute. Look, would you just look at that little bunny booty? <laughs> so cute. It's got little bunny butts everywhere, Easter eggs, so cute. And I think this year my theme for my wreath for Easter is going to be the little bunny booty. <laughs> So I grabbed two of those, and I probably should have grabbed more. I wished I would have because I'm sure there's, they probably aren't going to have them when I go back. But, so the next things that I got, and I bet you can't guess, socks. <laughs> so um, these socks are so cute, and I have seen other people haul them, but they're so cute. So this first pair is, I believe it's a koala bear. It's pink and gray striped, has the little ears, and these would come up, I'd say, about mid-calf, maybe. So I grabbed that pair. The next pair, I think, is probably my favorite. It's a Holstein cow, which I think is so cute. Uh, look at his little pink nose. Oh my goodness, so cute. How many times can I say so cute? <laughs> And I'll probably end up giving a couple pairs of these to my daughter because she's like me and likes socks. Um, this one, I believe, is looks like a Boston Terrier. But, oh, look at his little ears. And it's pink with white stars. And then the last pair is a unicorn. It's got the little fuzzy ears, too. Look at the little horn. So cute. So I grabbed those. The next things that I found, um, I know a lot of people's Dollar Trees have the um, Crafter's Corner, I think is what it's called. But my Dollar Trees don't have a Crafter's Corner. They have like a little section and it's usually by where the art supplies and stuff are, like the paints and the paint brushes. Um, so, but anyway, whenever I was down there, I saw these little wooden signs. And I've seen these at Walmart and Hobby Lobby and Michaels, and they're more than a dollar. But um, I got excited when I seen these, so I went ahead and grabbed uh, some of them. Um, this one, they're just hanging, they have a, like a jute hanger on them, and it's stapled on the back, which you can take that off if you don't want it on there. But um, I thought these would be really good that if you had... Uh, like a Cricut machine or something like that. You could do a little decal or something on here. Or um, I know Chalk Couture is sort of a big thing right now. But you could um, Chalk Couture these. I think that would be a really good thing to do. So anyway, I grabbed one that was in this shape. And this is real wood. Um, the next one is sort of an odd shape. But I liked it. So... Um, there's that one and they're not real big 
they're um, I don't think it says the size on here but I mean they're not huge or by any means but they're still cute and then the last one I got is sort of like this oval oval shape and I'm sorry about my lighting <laughs> Hopefully it's starting to get dark here, so hopefully I can get this filmed and and everything before it gets too dark. Okay, the next two things that I found, I was so excited, and this was on my wish list. I had seen a couple other people haul these, and um, except I think when I saw them haul them, they had little bells on them, and these did not have bells. But look at these. They are windmill wind chimes. They are so cute. And um, they, I got one of each color. This is the two different colors that they had. This one is sort of just the plain, like, galvanized silver metal type. Um, and also the metal on this is very thin, so it bends really easily. And I had to go through, I don't know how many of these, just to find a decent one. Um, and this one isn't perfect. Like, the center part right here is sort of off which most of them that I looked at, the center part was smashed in or it was like pulled completely out or the bottom sign where it says welcome was all bent. But it does, like I said, the metal does bend really well, so you might be able to shape them back. But um, it does work. I mean, it it does spin. So if you got a windy day, it'll spin, which I just love this. I think it's so cool. Um, but you wouldn't have to put this outside if you didn't want to. You could just take it apart and do some sort of a DIY with it if you wanted to, which I might do. Um, so anyway, I grabbed one of just the silver one, and then I grabbed this one that is black. It's got like a black finish, and it's the same. It says uh, welcome on the bottom down here, but I thought these were really cool. I was glad and excited to see those. Okay, the next things that I got are some Easter signs, and these are new this year, because I don't believe they had them last year. Um, but they're a pretty good size. They're, they say, Happy Easter. I don't know if y'all, if I can fit them in, on the frame, but they're a pretty decent size, uh, pretty long, and they are slightly different from each other. Uh, this one right here says, Happy Easter. And um, the wood background back here is sort of a lighter uh, faux wood background. And it's got the um, Easter Bunny that's painted on there, like his whole body. And then his little bunny feet, glittery bunny feet. So cute. So I grabbed that one. And then this one has sort of a darker... Uh, faux wood background and it also says happy Easter but all it is is the little bunny face and um, his ears look galvanized um, they're not galvanized but it's sort of like a, a painting or a sticker or something that they've done but um, it's really cute and then it goes down to just his little bunny feet <laughs> I think this is really cute and you, it doesn't need anything no DIYing, I don't think, to this, that you could just hang it up or set it outside on your covered porch or whatever for Easter, for your Easter decor. Those are really pretty, and those were on my wish list. And then the last two things that I found that were on my wish list, I'm so excited, but um, everybody is, you know, red truck, farm truck crazy, and I'm one of them. So <laughs> I grabbed... One of each. They had a blue one and a pink one. And these are so cute. But this one has the little bunny with the Easter eggs in the back of the truck and his little bunny booty sticking out. This is Happy Easter. I think this is so cute. I love it. And his little, little Peter Cottontail right here. <laughs> It's kind of flat. Um, you may, if you wanted to, um, I know Dollar Tree sells like the little pom-poms, but you can probably buy those and take that off and put a new one on there. Or maybe glue a cotton ball or something on there if you wanted to. 
But anyway, I thought that was really cute. And then the blue one, which I think the blue one is probably my favorite. Because look at the bunny. He's like excited. There's carrots in the back of this truck. He's going to hop in there. Head first. Get him a carrot. So cute. <laughs> I just love it. Just love it. It's so cute. But see what I mean by the tail is kind of flat. So if I can't get that fluffed up myself, I may end up taking that off and just getting um, some of the little pom-poms you can get from the Dollar Tree. But it comes with a little uh, jute twine hanger. So anyway, I thought that was really cute and I was excited to find it. So anyway, I hope that you guys are having a great day. And I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you like this video and you like Dollar Tree Hauls, please give this a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, please do. And don't forget to click the little bell icon so that you're notified when I upload a video. I just wanted to thank you all for watching. Bye.